Good afternoon, colleagues. First of all, I want to thank the rapporteurs, the chairs, and note takers for the work they did in, in ensuring that we had the notes and we also were able to the presentations very successfully. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to talk to you about we want to adopt the platform for actions. What I want to just say is that be it resolved that we adopt the participants adopt the Caribbean TVET Declaration 2023 and the platform for action annexed to the present resolution. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, um, upload the entire document. In the interest of time, I'm just going to speak to the activities or the action points. Okay, we are determined to intensify efforts to transform TVET for sustainable development in disruptive times. We are going to promote and encourage the meaningful engagement of all stakeholders in the transformation of TVET globally. We are going to engage in inclusive strategies in delivering TVET to promote equity, access, and empowerment of citizens. To revisit quality assurance and certification related to the, the delivery of TVET in the region to accentuate the recognition of prior learning as an initiative to support TVET practitioners to gain confidence in the areas of specialization, to address the gaps hindering the seamless transition from TVET to other education systems and the workforce, to take positive steps to ensure that TVET is included in, primary, in the primary curriculum, to intensify the efforts to change the deficit discourse on TVET and use appreciative inquiry to promote TVET across sectors. To promote intergenerational collaboration in the development and delivery of TVET programs. To promote innovation and creativity to make TVET an attractive option for citizens to facilitate micro-credentialing, the development to enhance citizens' involvement in TV specialization, considering the varied circumstances, to encourage revising the region's entrepreneurship models, to facilitate sustainable development and provide meaningful work-based experiences for young people, to take actions to promote the success of the platform of action. So this would require commitment from all the stakeholders, resource mobilization at all levels, access to funding for the transformation of TVET institutions, development of the capacity of TVET educators to handle the challenges of disruptions, meaningful engagement of youth in TVET, strengthen the mechanisms for all levels for accountability, take action to attend to the artificial and intelligence space to protect the ethics and integrity of education, accentuate the infusion of technology in TVET learning environments to enhance the varied delivery modes, to disseminate information which may facilitate the success of the platform for action globally, so we, we hereby adopt and commit ourselves to collaborating with the multilateral bodies to implement the platform for action, ensuring inclusive rights-based and social justice perspectives to be evident in all priorities and programs. We appeal to all stakeholders to commit to implementing this platform of action. Thank you. Is there, any, is there anything you would like to see in, this, in, the, plat in the action points? And yes. I don't know if I missed it, but I did not hear the statement for early childhood education. Okay, thank you. So we're going to add this one? Yeah, early childhood. Can see a light. Sure. Um, George Byfield here. I didn't hear much or any, um, anything about the private sector involvement or collaboration. 
Okay, so what I did was I say all stakeholders. So all stakeholders would, would include, I have that somewhere else, I didn't read it. Would include the private sector, public, uh, non-governmental agencies and so on. If, you, if you don't mind, um, just making a recommendation if that could be pulled out. Okay. Um, instead of just having it clumped into one as stakeholders, okay, but have maybe yeah. a, a specific line that directs specifically to the private sector. No problem. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. You're um, I saw yesterday the intervention of the young people. Yeah. And then I'm thinking of this, everything that they communicated today about mm -hmm. the digital expansion. Mm -hmm. And I think that it could be included that young people, students in the TVIT, could interact now, develop dialogues between TVIT uh, students in Jamaica, with students in Colombia, in Chile, okay. in Cuba, everywhere. So our young people is growing with that philosophy of interaction and creating a global dialogue. Thank you. So I have it, as I said, I didn't read, up every, read everything for the interest of time. But it is there. That we, I, I spoke about the young people are pivotal. And I also talk about intergenerational collaboration. And I, and I was very, very impressed with the young people yesterday also. Um, I second that as well. Mm -hmm. But I go further to say not only communication between young persons, but speaking from a young person point of view, mm -hmm. we need to not only have it on paper, but young persons need to now move from paper to reality. Okay. So we need an avenue for young persons to move from paper because, you know, a lot of us, mm -hmm. we want to move now. Okay, Just so we're to talking move about... from paper to letting it be a reality. Okay, so we're talking about meaningful engagement of young people. Okay, so I'm going to add that also. And I just want to just emphasize... Oh, as we talk about the meaningful engagement, what I hear coming out is not only engagement on the national space, but coming together on a regional and international, international space, space to form a strong voice. Oh, strong. Okay. So though, how do we get our young people to be part of a larger collective voice and recognizing that their voice have is, power? Is, their voices are important, yes. yes. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. I think from my tour, I want to leave this point with you that we need to take our labs from the, from the wood fire space to the electric stove because our students are no longer working with the wood fire. They are going out there to work with the electric stove. Okay, so we have to enhance, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for that.